hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16.4 beta 4 update on iphone 10r so as you can see from the screenshot it came in about 401.1 mb on this iphone 10r and at the same time i've installed this update on iphone 12 as well so on iphone 12 it came in about 542.6 mb in this video we're going to take a look at especially at iphone 10r and talk about the new changes are there any new changes and what are the restrictions that Apple is especially bringing with iOS 16.4 we're gonna talk about that in detail so make sure you watch this video till the end now let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings general and about section if you see that iOS version says iOS 16.4 and if I tap on it, the new build number with iOS 16.4 beta 4 is 20E5239B. So the letter B in the end, it denotes that probably we might get to see one more beta or probably the release candidate next week. After that, we will get to see the iOS 16.4 public release. Now, there are a couple of things I wanted to mention and I have mentioned this before as well. If you go to the software update and also let me show you this on this iPhone 12 as well. So, there is no kind of you know profile concept as well. So, if you see that there are two things here. So, iOS 16 developer beta and there is you know the another option says off. So if you check on iOS 16 developers beta, so you will be able to receive the iOS 16.4 or the later iOS 16 beta updates. So the profile concept is gone, but if you want, you can install the profile in the last video. I mentioned that, you know, the profile concept is gone. If you go to developers.apple.com and if you have a valid registered email ID, so you can download the beta profile from there. I have downloaded from there and as you can see, I have installed again iOS 16 beta software profile, but it will be again automatically removed since apple don't want you to you know use the concept of beta profile and it is pretty simple now you just have to have your email id registered with the either with the apple developers beta program or the public beta program in order to receive the respective updates so with this update you have a new modem firmware so unfortunately you don't have a new modem firmware with iphone 10r so let me show you that so I had captured a screenshot as you can see before updating the modem firmware it was 5.02.02 and after updating if I go to the both section it is still 5.02.02. I've noticed this now iPhone 10R uh, as compared to today it's an old device. So pro we don't have modem firmware updates at least we have once or you know once in a month or like that. But if you talk about iPhone 12 I've received a modem firmware update here. So as you can see before updating it was 3.54.01 and after updating if I can show you the modem firmware has been updated to 3.55.02. So that means if you're using any phone and updated to iOS 16.4 beta 4 you will have a modem firmware update so definitely check that. So the new modem firmware means if you're having any existing network issues those will be resolved with this new modem firmware update. One more new change with this iOS 16.4 beta 4 if you go to the about section and coverage section this will show you the list uh, actually your device has been connected to uh, all the devices so right so these icons have been updated if you have a apple watch or ipad or whatever device have been connected to this iphone it will give you the complete list over here and the icon has been slightly updated now one more thing i wanted to mention if you uh, click on your name on the top and click on icloud and go down and click on advanced data protection so earlier these icons device backup message backup icloud drive and even the voice memos this you know icons were looking a little bit refreshing i mean these were the icons similar to our macbook if you have used a macbook or you know these icons used to look like this but now with ios 16.4 beta 4 apple has reverted back the icons look like simple and plain and it is basically the ios 16 icons so maybe in future with ios 17 they might be planning for a redesign not sure but this is something I wanted to highlight. Apart from that, uh, there is a splash screen. So if you open Apple Books, so this is the splash screen you get. But there is nothing new with that. If you use the Apple Books application, just, you know, the list of books you'll get. And we talked about the page sliding animation, which Apple you now did provide in the previous update. So apart from that, 
देर आर नथिंग न्यू दैट आई कुड एट लीस्ट नोटिस विद आई यू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फोर बीटा फोर ये टॉकिंग अबाउट कपल ऑफ बर्ग्स पीपल वर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो द नोटिफिकेशन बर्ग राइट सो वेन एवर यू नो द नोटिफिकेशन यूज टू कम एंड इफ यू आर गेटिंग मल्टीपल नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम सेम एप्लीकेशन द नोटिफिकेशन समटाइम्स यूज टू ओवरलैप विद वन एन अदर बट दैट थिंग हैज बिन रिजॉल्व एंड ऑल्सो आई एम हैप्पी टू से दैट आई हैव सेट दिस बिफोर also after updating and i've been using this ios 16.4 beta a couple of weeks so i haven't since since then till now so no swipe home lag so that's really a good thing so people who are actually bothered about the animation lag in ios we didn't used to have this issues earlier with ios 15 and 14 i've been using ios for a long time but with ios 16 we uh, you know started with lot of issues and people started complaining but you know i'm happy to say that i've said this before but again ios 16.4 will resolve the swipe home animation lag so that's something i wanted to mention now if we take a look at the battery here and click on battery health and charging as you can see the maximum capacity that means the battery health is 88% so after updating to iOS 16.4 beta 4 the battery health hasn't dropped now also as you might be knowing if you follow my channel during the weekend i come up with the iOS 16 beta software's battery life and performance if i take a look at my iPhone 12 over here and if i just click on the battery and battery health so the battery health here as well it is 86% so battery health hasn't dropped so far after updating but you can see the battery uh, life over here for last 24 hours and last 10 days we're going to talk about the battery life detail and the performance once i use ios 16.4 beta 4 couple of, for couple of more days then i'll be able to give you some sort of idea about the battery life but so far with ios 16.4 beta 3 the battery life hasn't been great i told you this before as well with especially with ios 16 betas and especially with beta 3 and beta 4 the battery life was Uh, already average but i did not see a good battery life with ios 16.4 beta 3 so more about ios 16.4 beta 4 battery life during the weekend and also along with the battery life i'll talk about the performance on both of this device if so, you are already interested in geekbench 5 score i've ran geekbench 5 score on both of these devices so as you can see on iphone 10r the single core score came in about 1108 and the multi core score came in about 2434 and respectively on iphone 12 the single core score is 1576 and the multi core score is 3943 there are no performance issues at the moment but i still need to use this device the you know the display looks fine and the animation there is no animation lag so swipe home issue is gone so looks like we are moving in the right direction so then again that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section whether you have installed ios 16.4 beta 4 let me know that in the comment section below and i will see you on my next video bye bye